Some people believe winning is an accomplishment and that succeeding is winning every event. Are winning and succeeding that closely related? Oxford says, winning is to be victorious in a contest or a conflict. Let's agree that winning is competing for a prize, trophy, or a placement in a contest. Oxford says succeeding is to achieve an aim or purpose. Let's agree that success is applied effort over a long period of time to achieve a personal goal. You will achieve neither if you aren't ready. A speech competition, for example, requires thinking about and finding a decent topic. The thought is developed into some kind of plan. The plan outlines main ideas and supporting statements for each idea. Then the work begins, writing the speech, revising the speech, editing the speech, and rehearsing the speech. Personal qualities are needed, which are industriousness, enthusiasm, patience, self-confidence, and enjoying the preparation. Preparation is definitely important in winning. Preparation is involved in succeeding too. But the goal is further away and the process is longer term. Self-satisfaction is required to bring motivation instead of the competitive desire. Competition is not really a factor unless you consider competing against yourself. Continued and applied effort is needed, too. Like Thomas Edison's quote, success is 99% perspiration and 1% luck. Personal qualities needed are industriousness, enthusiasm, patience, self-confidence, and enjoying the preparation. Sound familiar? Winning and succeeding both bring their own awards. When you win, you get a trophy. The trophy shows a one-time victory and can be displayed on a shelf. It does not guarantee the winning of the next one. Succeeding, however, is not usually demonstrated on a shelf. It is acknowledgement and recognition for your self-determined effort, concentrated focus, and careful applications. I recently earned a pin from my school. Getting it involved achieving the minimum IB level of four. Mine is a six. You also had to participate in service activities. One for school and one outside of school. For the school, I did environmental work. I cut back blackberry bushes and removed debris. I never had an opportunity to do outside service, but I was awarded the bronze griffin pin. For my applied effort over a long period of time, some may think I want something, but I prefer to think that I succeeded in achieving my goal. Winning and succeeding both develop character. If you have not experienced winning or have not yet been successful, failures provide moments to learn. Winning and succeeding also bring attitude. Like John Wooden's TED Talk back in November 2016, they do not complain, they do not whine, they do not make excuses, they just get out there. But they have one significant difference. You can, in winning, you can prepare all you want, but even against the scariest opponent, something could happen, maybe accidentally, that disables the competitor, in which case you win. Here, Edison's quote doesn't apply very well. In succeeding, you have to work the long term and you cannot give up. If you have not experienced winning yet or succeeding, what I've learned in preparing the speech is if I do my best, then I am a winner. Thank you.